Greetings fellow citizens of the United States of America. We are anonymous. We will be explaining the basics and specifics of protesting. Starting with, use logic and reason, not emotion, to start protesting. For instance, when a tragedy occurs, emotions tend to run all over the place. Before getting angry, run over the details, is a protest necessary for this tragedy, and is it justifiable to do one? Finding a logically sounding reason to protest, whilst it stands as justified to do so, will ultimately lead mass public opinion to side with you, and others, who've joined your said movement. The next step is to organize diligently. Speak diplomatically with officers about the protest you're about to start. After an agreement is made start scheduling the protest, and have strict rules of what you can and cannot do. Have a clear goal in mind, and most importantly, remind yourself about your rights. In the description of this video we've placed links to help advise you of your rights and even to attain a lawyer to be present at your protest. We advise the public to bookmark them. Keep them accessible. Because cooperation with police during the protest is of utmost importance. Believe it or not, officers exist to protect and serve the public at large. If there is tension between parties then the end result will be chaos. We advise protesters to cooperate with police officers, its department and its response. When it comes to movements it's important to respect their orders. Because if we continue to rebel against their control the goal of the movement will go nowhere. This practice has been embraced by Anonymous since 2008. Remember, we have a First Amendment right to assemble, but we have officers who are obligated to protect those outside of the protesting field. Keep in mind about others, don't just care for the people inside the protesting perimeter. We strongly urge that you do not protest at night. We say that with stress. Protesting at night is not only a bold move, but a foolish one. It creates an atmosphere of insecurity for both the protesters and the police officers. It's best, we believe, to schedule daytime only protests. As we've seen recently protests that bloom at night will give an agent provocateur a hole to fill in, which will enable the police to use force to control and fix the situation. And lastly, do not come to a peaceful protest armed. It makes it hard for the police to single out active shooters. There are plenty of open carry rallies to attend if you so wish. Besides, a peaceful protest is just that. Peaceful. Remember the wise words of Master Yoda. No weapons. You will not need them. We implore those watching to give their advice down in the comment section below. We are the common citizen. We never forgive. We never forget.